Hey guys, Virtus here and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 4 beginner tutorial series. And in today's episode, we're going to be giving you an introduction to widgets and UI creation inside of the engine. So what is the user interface? The user interface is essentially um, an overlay and something that the user actually sees and can interact with. So if you take a quick look at this project example I've got here, you can see I've got a heads up display which is overlaid on top of the screen and it displays information for things like health, um, you know, my mini map or my dire fuel in this game for example, um, and it's pretty much anything that the player can interact with. And it's not only just, you know, displaying information, it's also going to be for things like navigation, menus here, so you can see I've got options for menu or again, and so on and so forth. There's a whole bunch of different stuff you can do with UI, but it's essentially the stuff that the player sees on top of the game or can interact with um, in a nice user-friendly way. Anyway, so the purpose of today's video is going to be giving you the foundations for creating these kind of widgets and these user interfaces. So let's just go ahead and dive in and show you exactly what we're, going to be, what we're going to be creating today. So you can see on top of my screen here, you've got some text and then you've got a couple of buttons. And if I wanted to, sorry, just get rid of this. If I wanted to, I can click these buttons and if I really wanted to go cray cray, uh, crazy, I could even, you know, attach, a, uh, attach some script to these buttons. But for now, let's just go ahead and get you creating your first widget. It's quite simple really. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and show you this widget. This widget is essentially a container for all the user interface stuff like buttons and text. Uh, so let's go and create one. To create a widget, just go to user interface and then go to widget blueprint and then name it whatever you want. I'm just going to call this test widget one and I'm going to go ahead and open this and then when you open it, you know, you get confronted with this lovely little designer here and you get a little canvas for your viewport or wherever you're going to be displaying it and then you've got in the form of a designer and then you've got a graph which is going to allow you to create the blueprint script behind it for setting up functionality for stuff like the progress bar or you know changing the te text based on health or anything like that really. So you've got this little space here and you can add all kinds of different elements in here. It comes with a bunch of different elements from the palette and those elements could be things like buttons, images, checkboxes, sliders, text, uh, text boxes, there's a whole bunch of different stuff and all of these have different events for them as well. So for a button, you know, it'd be on clicked. You could then go ahead and do something or a checkbox. You know, you could use it when it's checked. It could do something else, you know, stuff like that, really. Anyway, so you've got the uh, you've got the palette option here. Once you select something and drag it in, you can go over to the details panel here and you can change some of the information. So if it was to be a button, we could change things like the position, the size, the color, and stuff like that. I'm just going to go ahead and delete this, and I'm going to drag in a piece of text here. And from here I could even change the text, color of the text, font, and all kinds of fancy stuff. So what we're going to do here is we're going to quickly create um, some basic text. So now that we got you following along, just go ahead and go over to the palette, go to text, drag it in any way you want on the viewport really and then you can drag it around wherever you want. I'm just going to go ahead and chuck in the Virtus education bit here. So Virtus education and you can see I can quite easily change the text of this from the details panel here under content and then text. If I wanted to I could even go on to binding, uh, binding it to a text value or a string um, but I'm not going to go over that for now. We're just going to go over changing some of the default stuff. So we've done the text. We've, you know, we've got the string to change. Now we need to set some color. So I'm going to set this to an orange. It's quite simple really. Just go over to the appearance tab, color, and let's go ahead and drag it in. Change it to something like an orange. And you can see we've got that on the screen. Doesn't look very big. So if I wanted to, I could even go and uh, make it nice and big just like this. And the purpose of this, of what I'm doing right now, is to essentially show you 
um, you know, just how easy it is to create user interface stuff, um, you know, for your games inside of Unreal Engine. So we've done this, we've got some text in, um, you know, let's go ahead and chuck a button in as well. If I go ahead and drag that in and then scroll down, you know, we've also got some events. These are really important and is something mind-blowingly, you know, it sounds so simple, but it does so much. So when I go ahead and press on clicked, it takes you to the blueprint graph, creates an event for that, and then if you wanted to, you could go ahead and fire off some scripts, like open level or, you know, anything like that really. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete this, uh, the on clicked event. I'm just going to go ahead and delete this. And we're going to show you how to actually get this onto your screen now. Now that you've got a basic understanding of the palette, some of the different uh, stuff inside of the palette, like buttons, progress bars, and such. Um, the details panel. I'm not going to go over animations for now, but I just want to introduce you to widgets. And now it's time to get them on the screen in your game. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete some of the old stuff I created just a minute ago. Uh, it should just take two seconds now. And... Boom. So one thing I want to explain to you is that every single game has something called a HUD class. And this HUD class, is head, head, HUD, sorry, HUD stands for Heads Up Display. And the HUD class essentially tells the game what widgets to put onto the screen. So it sounds like we're going to need to create a new HUD class. There is one by default, just the basic HUD, and there's nothing on it we don't need that. What we're going to do is create a new HUD class and inside of this HUD class we're going to tell it to actually put this little widget onto the screen. So to do that just go ahead and create a new blueprint class and go to all classes down here and just type in HUD. Sorry, there we go. HUD just like that and press select. Don't select any of the stuff below it, just press HUD. And we're going to call this new HUD. Once we've done that, just go ahead and go to your world settings, which can be accessed by going over to window and then world settings. And then under HUD class, set this to your new HUD class. Just like that. Sorry, new HUD. Click the uh, drop down and new HUD. Boom. Inside of this, this is where it kind of gets a little bit more technical. So event begin play. What we're going to do here is create a widget and then add it onto the viewport. The viewport is essentially, you know, what the player sees, the game window, and that's essentially what we want to do. We want to overlay it onto this viewport. So go ahead and do that. So the first thing we need to do is create a widget based on the widget class that we've got in the content browser here. So to do that, just go ahead and hook it up to event begin play. So as soon as the HUD class is called, it's going to go ahead and create that widget. So drag it out, create, uh, widget and then inside of this you've got a little class drop down if you wanted to you can go ahead and set this to test widget one and then you can drag this out and add it to the viewport and then the target would be the return value for here and then the owning player would be get player controller so now if we go ahead and drag uh, compile save press play you can see it's now on our screen and looks quite nice. But that's the basics of user interface inside of Unreal Engine 4. Uh, creating widgets is incredibly simple and um, hopefully now you've got a foundation for creating you know, all kinds of fancy UI for the engine. Um, over the next few videos I'm going to be showing you how to create um, things like heads up displays and menus. Uh, so just stay tuned and you will learn a whole bunch of cool UI stuff. Thanks for watching, comment, like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye!